gonna be fun. Yeah, you know what time it is. Another Saturday, another X Plays of the Week. I got some excellent footage to show you all, so stick around, get comfortable, grab a drink, grab some snacks, grab some friends. Wait, don't grab your friends. And enjoy this week's X Plays of the Week. We'll start things off with some nice, clean dribbling from yours truly. Oh yeah, this play made me feel real good and made the enemy team feel way less good. Hell yeah. This one definitely is a brawler classic, you know, when you, when the goalie's stuffing you, there's only one thing to do, run him into the back of his net. <laughs> yeah, boy. And celebrate a little bit too. With the enemy team demoralized, it's time to just slam it in there. They don't seem to be trying too hard here and just catch them off guard with that nice bell ringer. You know, sometimes you gotta set the tone for the game, you know. It's a 0-0 game, you gotta start beating people in. See how they, uh, how they appreciate that. And more often than not, they don't appreciate it, but that seems like a them problem than yours. And an easy way to clear the barriers. No sweat. The pressure's on, the barriers are down, we just need to get a little thing going, and a simple redirect followed up by a bell ringer, easy goal. The enemy team making a big mistake lining up for me, oh yeah, this gets real dirty real fast. Super surge damage charge right in their face, cleaning them up, oh is this gonna be it? Oh that's a beautiful 8. Too bad, got a little excited afterwards and kind of flubbed it. Emotional damage! Simple play here, I decided to play the ball, letting my goalie know, and just a simple punch in with a little bit of speed burst on the side, easy goal. When you played a lot of X, you kind of just know when the core is coming to you, and sometimes you just line it up so perfectly with a nice bell ringer. Play starts with a beautiful save by our Atlas, beautiful save. And the play just kind of comes out of nowhere, she just doesn't expect the bull rush in, and that's it, sneaks it right by her. If you're playing X, you're gonna do one thing, get in their face, and sometimes that means punching it right when they flip. A little embarrassing on his part. For some reason, I decide that I don't like Finny here, and I really chase after her this whole time. I get a little tired when I can't quite close the gap here. I stay near, she's afraid for her life. She looks like she's going for the health pack. I use my only cooldown and miss, but she backs off and I just decide to burst her down. And honestly, it was a beautiful use of the energy burst. I don't care if it did nothing else, but it got the KO. That's all that matters. Just using the angles on a nice bell ringer. Very plain and simple. Corgit shot the black hole started me off on a bad foot, but they make the mistake of getting too close to the boards. Bam, double kill. You got to turn on the heat map for that one. We struggle a bit here and there just to try to get enough pressure. I think we just end up being too close to each other and not giving us each other enough space to work, but eventually I snag one in. Easily pressuring the Rasmus and, and damaging the Asher all in one go. It sets up an easy play. A very fast and effective way to get someone away from the core and get a fast goal. You know, sometimes you're always chomping at the bit, but other times you just gotta have a little bit of patience. An easy flip leads to a big mistake for Vice. <laughs> It was nice going into this play with uh, two charges or about two charges for my bell ringer since I had prime time and it makes for a unexpected play. When you've been cooking all game and you just need to know how to exactly react to the shot. It was quite fun bullying this Rasmus all game and I did not stop there. Fumbled with it a little bit here and there, just trying to get past these two since they were both trying to play goalie and we didn't have some good shots on that, but eventually things kind of came through. Rasmus did return, he was not really into it, and I ended up getting by three of them. Easy. So what? Prize fighter next, you know what time it is. We're gonna get some stacks and we're gonna take all of theirs. Hell yeah. Well, that's one from Juliet and I'm not stopping there. Amy's looking a little distracted, and oh, she loses hers too. That's pretty good and all, but I feel like I'm not done yet, and I ain't. Kai, you're next. Now I have my permission to score. Well, we're up 3-0. Their team's in shambles. There's no way they're coming back from this, so we just kind of have a little bit of fun with them. Not really trying too hard here, just kind of staring at them, waiting for them to make a mistake, and just going like crush that. it in. Bring a tear to my eye. 
Well, I said they're demoralized, so uh, yeah, the Kai ended up leaving and I decided to play goalie for them. <laughs> was my goalie's idea and he didn't like that, that I, I got an easy point off him so fast, but he said I could also KO the enemy too, so I was quite happy with that, though I did get a little too carried away. And there we go. At least we all enjoyed it, except for the, the enemy team, of course. You know, Juliet got KO'd several times and yeah, it was just a fun, fun, easy game. There we go. Here comes a new challenger. Nice. I got this clip sent to me by a Discord user known as GamerLove71, aka Sussy Gussy. Starts off with an excellent bull rush double kill into a nice bell ringer ace goal. Now that was explosive. Well, hope everyone enjoyed that collection of clips. Two weeks down in August and two more to go. Can't wait to see what you guys can bring to the table. As always, I am on the Omega Strikers Discord page as the one true Sir Salty, of course. And you can DM me any of your clips. So let's see you get excessive. So hope to see you guys out there and have a great weekend. Take care. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.